Hello and welcome back to GP Nail Art. Oh, this is not going to be a nail art video. Um, if you saw my September um, 6th video, you will kind of know what is going on here. Um, this is my online bill binder. Um, I do have my budget book here that is kind of showing what my breakdown for my online bills uh, is so I do have that off to the side but I need to stuff um, all these different categories for my September 2nd paycheck. I am going to pull out my prop, prop money. I do only use fake money as a representation of what is currently in my bank account for these specific um, bills. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull out all of um, the money. Um, I'm not going to pull out the specific amount I need. I think it's just going to be easier, easier to pull from just the piles of what I need. So I will go ahead and get this sorted out. Okay, so this money, uh, with the exception of this $100 bill, this I had gotten from Hands and Bands, so she decorated it to go with her um, mystery savings challenge. Um, the rest of it came from Amazon. Um, I did mark it up um, with like little stars and stuff like that, just to make sure I'm aware that this is all prop money and I don't get it mixed up with any real money because it does look quite real <laughs> so okay so first thing is storage um, I do have a storage rental unit um, for all of the bigger furniture that I put that I brought up from Florida so um, I do have to pay like a monthly rent for that it did just go up from like 160 to one. 184 it's going to be now so I'm kind of rebudgeting for um, the co the new cost of that so we're going to be putting 92 in for my storage okay so it's just easier I can pull out exactly what I need. So I have 50, 70, 92. And I'll update the tracker with all of the information later. Okay. For my online car insurance payment, I do have to pay that until, um, I, I, my next payment's going to be September 15th. So I do still have the money that I've saved for that so far. And I need to put in, um, I'm going to be putting in 41. So, 20, 41. So now I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 15, 17, 19, 21, 22, 23, 123. Yes. Okay, from my cell phone. That payment will also be coming out on the 17th, but I'm stuffing for October. So we are going to add 40. So now I have 20, 
20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. 120. So part of this will be September payment and part of that is October. Okay, for my credit cards. Um, so for my storage, um, car insurance, cell phone, I kind of split that payment. It's always the same amount um, every time, so I split that payment amongst the paychecks that I'm going to get for the month. Um, for credit cards, um, you can see here that I have, like, this paycheck is going to cover from September 2nd to September 5th until I get paid again. So I'm paying for the amount here, the 122, I am paying the credit cards that are going to be paid from September 2nd to September 15th. So we are going to be putting in 122, so I'm going to use my... Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to use a 100. Um, most of the payments are like $20, $30, uh, so I'm going to stuff it with smaller bills. So 122, I've got... 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 122. So this is a payment that hasn't come out yet. I'm just going to add that in. <laughs> Sorry for all this awkwardness I kind of need to get used to doing this. Okay, so we have So I should have 191, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 160, 170, 175, 80, 85, 87, 89, 91, 191. Okay, so the... <laughs> Full transparency, um, this is a loan that I opened from a company called Net Credits um, back in January. Um, I was falling short on quite a lot of bills at that time. I had uh, over $1,000 in rent for my apartment, as well as other bills that were not um, included, so I was just um, falling short kind of across everything. Plus I had the move coming up. So I took a loan out with this company. It's kind of, um, my credit is not great because of, you know, like the debt that I have. Um, so it's kind of a cash advance type company. I did not read all of the specific details. It was kind of, you know, I needed the money. So I went for it. That was a big mistake. Um, I took just $2,000 uh, from this company, and they have a daily interest rate. So according to their payment schedule, it would take me until 2026 for the minimum payments that they take out to pay it in full. So when I look at the payment information, there's maybe three to four dollars that are going towards that principal. The rest, I, I do, prob it's probably like a hundred dollar payment per month. The rest of that is interest. This is what I'm going to be focusing on for my debt payments. Um, they automatically take out $54 every time I get paid. Um, it's like an automatic transaction, so that's still going to get paid every month, but the extra money that I'm saving up in my cash folder, um, this one here, um, my debt 
payment is going to go towards this first. I'm not going to continue to pay that amount of interest for them over the next, what, five years, <laughs> four years. That is absolutely insane. I think it said at the end that I will have paid almost like $6,000 if I just continue with the minimum payments that they pull. They don't have any penalty to pay it or make a bigger payment um, before the due dates or, or anything like that. So I'm going to take advantage of that and make the biggest possible payment biggest possible payment I can um, each month. Uh, I'll probably make one lump sum payment at the end of the month with the money that I save in the other folder uh, right at the end of the month. Uh, I think with how I've worked out my budget um, here, by the end of this month I should have a minimum of $700. That's kind of what my goal is for this month. Um, to pay them, so that will be almost half of um, what I owe uh, at this point. And, you know, with that as well, if I'm paying it off early, I won't have to pay all of that interest, so I won't be paying that $6,000 um, or close to $3,000 extra in interest. So this is going to be my focus. I want to get this paid off by... November if I can so that is going to be my goal but for the time being I am stuffing this just for the minimum payment that will be coming out by September 16th so that's going to be the $54 and then anything extra that I save up by the end of the month or anything that's not going to be designated in a specific folder is what's going to be my extra debt payment. So this is for my online subscriptions, my monthly online. I do have a subscription to Disney Plus, so that's Disney, Hulu, and ESPN. I may cut that back. I'm not sure that that my, my family and I are really using the Disney and ESPN part, so I may just go back to just a Hulu subscription. Um, I need to talk with them about that. This also covers my, I have a YouTube subscription, um, like channel that I've joined, um, OnStar, Sirius, and my C my Cascade Color Work, um, subscription. So what's going to be coming out, um, and from now until September 16th is OnStar, Sirius XM, Cascade Color Works. Um, so I need a total of 86 dollars okay so we have 50 60 70 85 86 Okay, for food, um, I do have a subscription as well to HelloFresh. Um, so we get two meals, two dinner kits usually um, per week. I really love um, HelloFresh if you want to see any of that information um, or cooking a meal or like what meals it is that we get um, each week let me know in the description box I will also leave a referral link in the description box uh, for you as well but the um, meals um, they usually it usually takes payment on Thursdays for the following Monday and they get they so it takes payment on Thursday and I get the meals delivered on Monday um, so the next two is going to be about $130. So $130 even, $50, $110, $20, $30. I, stuff, I don't stuff this with a $100 bill because it's going to be about $57, $58 um, per week. So it's just easier to kind of 
divvy it up after the fact. So online shopping. I don't usually know exactly what it is that I'm going to be getting. This, this particular paycheck that I just got on September 2nd, it did have a... Uh, I did have a bonus from my job, so I'm going to be stuffing this a little bit extra. I do some a lot of shopping on Amazon. Um, I was going to replenish some of my nail products, but uh, I won't be doing that. I think I probably do want to get some stuff from Etsy for... Um, like some planner sticker kits and, and maybe some stuff from uh, some of the other budgeters that have Etsy shops. So not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing with that yet, but we're stopping 150 and I get to use my new prop fill from hands and bands. Okay. And then gas. Um, this I keep in my savings account online. I will pay with a, I have um, a smart pay card. So um, my local gas station, they have this like card that you can insert for payment. It does come from my bank account, um, but you get like a 10 cent discount per gallon. I believe it is. I don't get gas that much. Um, the last time I got gas was in July. <laughs> <laughs> July 22nd. I can see it right there. I work from home. Everything in my area is fairly close. Um, grocery stores are very, very close. My sister lives close by. Um, my best friend lives very close. So I don't have to drive very far. If I drive once a week, I'd say that that's probably a lot. Um, so I don't really have to get gas that often, as you can see. So I'm going to kind of cap this at $100. I'm at $88 right now. I'm not stuffing this with anything today um, because whenever I make payments for anything in my online checking account it has a feature called save as save as you go so it'll round up by dollar amounts so like if i if i use my card to pay off a bill any one of these bills or um, buy something at the store online shopping like those types of things it'll round up to the nearest um, dollar at the end of the day and put that directly into my savings so over the month of August uh, we had an additional 10 about $10 eight uh, nine dollars or so that was transferred over from my regular online spending into my at this point gas budget um eventually the cash that i have in my emergency folder will also go into this account but it'll be easier for me to also see that i have this amount in my savings for gas and then the rest would be for emergency so um I'm not going to be contributing anything to here. So I'm just going to put the rest of my prop money away. Um, but uh, the next stuffing that I will probably be doing will be with my real cash. So that'll be my wallet and my long-term um, savings goals. So let me know what you think of this uh, video. And if you like uh, what you see and you want to see more, please comment down below. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, bye for now.